Mental health has declined for college students since the start of the pandemic. Yeah, that's one of the findings of a new study released by the Utah-based company Qualtrics. New specialist Tamara Vifanua digs into the data for us. And what are some of the takeaways here? Well, good afternoon, Matt and Cher. The data underscores the importance of making mental health services more accessible, thoughtful, and personal. And that's the message that students at Southern Utah University shared with their leaders, and it appears they're listening. Navigating the past two years has been anything but normal for college students. We know that mental health is, become, is, is sort of emerging as a, a really pressing issue on campuses. Qualtrics interviewed 1,000 college students across the country. 39% said the pandemic negatively impacted their mental health. But you sort of had this one-two punch of the pandemic and virtual hybrid learning driven issues, creating um, mental health crises. And then you have these more chronic issues around discrimination. Research shows 36% of college students have experienced discrimination at their institution, mainly for their race or political views. 29% of college students say they can't access mental health resources. 63% of those who do have campus resources say there are long wait times and only short-term treatments available. They don't even know what resources are available and they don't necessarily trust that their schools can help address them. At Southern Utah University, access to mental and physical health care are limited. Students asked administrators for more help and agreed to pay $44 a year for the university to open a new health clinic this fall. The schools need to make it a priority to understand where students are at and what's behind these issues, but then make it really easy for them to connect to services that can help. And one technical college in Oklahoma is doing that by distributing QR codes via text. That way students can request mental health services privately. And so far, leaders say it is making a difference. For KSL News, I'm Tamara Vaifanua.